Rolling. Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. We're going to tie a Beldar stone. Um, quite a few steps in this fly. Starting out with a 5262, and I believe a size four. And then what you do is you bend the sh bend the shank about mid shank there, um, just to give it a little angle. Start your thread after you load a small metallic black cone and then um, these are 3 16 black beads. First of all I'm going to come back to the bend of the hook. I'm going to use uh, STS Trilobal in black. Kind of a coarse dubbing, a little hard to dub but um, picks out and makes a nice effect. Um, first of all we're going to start out by creating a little bump in the back and then we'll tie tie in our goose by it. Tail, classic stonefly. Tail. And we'll put our second by it on. Actually push them both back just make sure they're even. Okay. Next, I'm going to use some um, V rib, UTC V rib, in medium black. I'm going to step back a little bit and just talk about bending that hook. I used to put the hook in the vise and bend it about a little over halfway up the shank to get that bend in there so that fly rolls down the river. It's a very good river uh, or uh, stonefly nymph any time of the year really. Um, on the middle fork of the Lamet, I use it on the Mackenzie. Of course the Deschutes has huge population of stoneflies in that river so that's a, uh, always a good one to use this in. Small amounts when you're doing dubbing, especially a coarse dubbing, um, gets it to tack on. And If you're having a lot of trouble, use a little bit of wax. It'll help bind that material. Um, I'm really using a lot of finger pressure as I spin that dubbing on the thread. Okay, so I've got that body there. I'm going to take my V-rib around now and work that up the shank. You know, so that's a pretty fat little fly. It's dense. And gets down. Full meal deal. Not a real pleasure to cast, <laughs> but um, definitely a fish getter. Next, we're going to use some medium black rubber. Good old round rubber. I'll tie it on one side, pull it over to the other side, tack it down. A little more dubbing. Dubbing will help push this back. And there's your filler. So you've got to leave, leave some space in between those beads as you come up. I'm going to wrap that there, get those to set back. Okay. Now, good little whip finish in between beads. If you want to, you could put a drop of Zappa Gap on there. Take this bead, push it right up against there. Start your thread again. Now, what I'm using here is a um, wing cutter. Um, from River Road Creations. This is actually the caddis wing, um, or you can use the stonefly. This is a size 16 for this size. And then I use um, thin skin, which is a vinyl material in a mottled finish. And then I cut the wings with the cutter by pressing them down on the pad that it comes with, and you get this. So you say, well, that's a caddis wing. Well, the fish don't know the difference, and it really makes a nice wing case. So I'm going to lay that on there, wrap it so it gets all the way around. Let me get a little more thread for the seat. Make sure you get plenty of thread. And then I will pin that down there, and there's my first wing case. Okay, okay. so next, I want to get that right up against that bead and 
really press that bead back into place, that first one. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to put another rubber leg in there. Bring this over, a little more dubbing. I'm going to try to get that right up on top there like that. Whip finish. Bring in the next segment. I'm going to tie in another wing case. And I already have this pre-cut and ready to go. Lay that in there. Snug her down real good. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hackle in there. Some brown mottled hen hackle or partridge, something dark. Doesn't have to be your greatest quality though. No, you don't. It just um, it just adds a little fluff in there. Something that wiggles besides the rubber legs and swims as this fly tumbles down. And I'm just using an old hen neck I've got that's seen better days. So I got those in there. Bring in some more rubber. This again, medium black. And then we'll finish this off with some more black dubbing. Again, you can use any of your favorite stonefly dubbings to do this. take and work around get my legs and everything laying the way I want them and there you have your Beldar stone <laughs>